Under the Obama plan, the closest American astronauts will ever get to the moon is during a flyby on the way to Mars or the asteroids. But there are, of course, other players on the cosmic card table. China is setting its sights on becoming a major player in space. This has been the greatest achievement of China's space program so far. Fighter pilot Jai Ju Guang emerging from his Shenzhou capsule, all broadcast live on state television to the oohs and ahs of a proud nation. He floated for 15 minutes, waved the Chinese flag, and was done. But this first ever Chinese spacewalk raised questions about another kind of walk, possibly on the moon. Guao Hua Dong is the deputy head of China's Science Academy. We still need a lot of time before we establish a space station, but to send an astronaut to the moon does not seem so difficult. We believe we could send an astronaut to the moon by the year 2030. China has already sent a probe there, which sent back these pictures. Proudly unveiled to the world by Prime Minister Wen Jiaobao, who said at the time, this was proof China was able to stand tall among advanced nations. Next will come an unmanned rover, then returning lunar soil and rock samples to Earth. All crucial steps before a Taikonaut, as they're sometimes called here, will be able to walk on the moon. And in the meantime, the private company Space Adventure, who has already given eight tourists to stay aboard the International Space Station, is offering tourists a flight around the moon aboard a Russian Soyuz capsule for 100 million US dollars a seat. So far, there aren't any buyers. The nation that first put a man on the moon will soon be reliant on the Russians to get there. But whether or not I believe these proposed Chinese and Russian moon flights are real all comes down to whether or not they meet the requirements. I sent Space Adventures an email to inquire about their $100 million offer. Hello, your circumlunar flight to tourists certainly sounds like an ambitious plan. But I have one question. I read a document by Dr. James Van Hoften. He stated that the cosmic rays are so dangerous and poorly understood that people are unlikely to get to the moon until better ways are found to protect astronauts. Purely with safety in mind, may I ask what shielding you are planning to use to protect tourists from the space radiation? Thank you, Jarrah White. So far, I have not heard back from them. Often, I have received private messages and public messages from trolls and propagandists telling me that I wouldn't believe Apollo was real if I was flown to the moon myself and shown the artifact sitting on the surface. Propagandists are quite fond of peddling this libelous statement in forums, blogs, even the media. If the conspiracy theorists could be swayed by evidence, they wouldn't have this conspiracy theory to begin with. You know, they don't believe the NASA archives. They don't believe the NASA scientists. They don't believe scientists around the world who have studied the NASA rocks brought back from the moon. And so clearly, even if you took a conspiracy theorist to the moon and said, look, the Apollo landers, they would probably claim you've drugged them or something like that. To the propagandists, I say, put your money where your mouth is. Space Adventures is offering people the chance to go around the moon aboard the Soyuz. If you're that confident that I would not be convinced, even if you flew me there, why not put money in for my ticket? I've started up a PayPal account. Fly Jarrett to the moon at gmail.com. I encourage all of you to raise $200 million. Why $200 million? Because if you're all that confident, I'm sure you wouldn't mind tagging along with me for the ride. Phil Plate offered Joe Rogan $1 million, so I'm sure he can offer contribution to this fundraise. There are obviously very high odds that I'll come back from the moon with terminal cancer or in a body bag. I'm not suicidal, but nor am I afraid to die for the sake of the truth. There's always a possibility that uh, uh, you can have a catastrophic failure, of course. This can happen on any fight. It can happen on the, on the last one as well as the first one. So uh, you just plan as best you can to take care of uh, all of these eventualities. And uh, you get a well-trained crew, crew and a well-trained crew. 
One thing's for sure, whether we return dead or alive or dying, it'll certainly solve the mystery of whether or not humans have been to the moon.